So the final part of question 10, part C, and um, this uses a slightly different approach. The key thing here is that it accelerates at a constant rate. So if we're looking at the velocity time graph, we're looking at t on the bottom here and vt on the side, um, we know that we've got the velocity increasing at a, a constant rate, unlike before. Um, this is just this graph is just for the second stage. Okay, this is just looking at the second stage of the graph, not the first stage. I haven't plotted the graph for that. We know that the initial velocity for the second stage is 375. We're told that from the first part of the question. And we know that the final velocity for the second stage is 500. Again, we're told that in question. So we need to find um, this distance here. Well, we know this distance here. This is the same distance as in um, part B. So we know this area. Okay. What we need to find is the value t that gives us that particular distance okay we could go back and integrate again but we've got a trapezium here uh, we know that this side here is 375 and we know that this side here is 500 uh, so we know that the area of the trapezium is a half times 375 plus 500 the mean of the parallel sides times t T is what we need to work out. We know that the area is the same as the distance in B. That allows us to work out T in a relatively straightforward way. Uh, find the total time taken for the two stages. Don't forget you need to add together this time plus your value of K from part B to get your final answer.